Hunter. And yes, we are still on Monday night. It is about 9.40 on Monday the 26th, well, November 26th. So, um, I wanted to make this video to show y'all an Oracle deck that I bought. I ordered this about a couple of weeks ago. Um, and, um, I just have not made a video <laughs> showing it. But this is the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck and guidebook. Um, I think a lot of you guys have this deck already. Or have y'all seen this deck before? Um, the, um... It is by Alberto, Alberto, Alberto uh, Villato, Colette Baron Reed, and Marcella Lobos. So this, I I saw this when I when I first saw it on Facebook, one of the other way two pages. It was like I think forty six dollars. I'm like, oh, I'm not paying forty six dollars. Um, but this is really nice. It says here, U.S. 40, I mean $39.99 in Canada is $53.99. But I think I saw it for $46 on Amazon. I want to say that, but I could be wrong. But here, even $40. I did not want to spend $40 on a deck. Not that it's not worth it. It's just my cheap ass didn't want to spend it because I wanted to buy other stuff. And then you end up spending more than $40. So I should have just got the deck. Anyway, so then um, I got on and I found it on sale for $23 on Amazon. So... I went ahead and picked it up. So this is a little jacket. And it comes in this hard box. This is really nice. Okay. So it has that little magnetic thing. And inside here you have the book and a little message. The message says, before there was time, before there was language, there were the sacred symbols. Nice. Um, honestly, guys, I'm not taking out this. I looked at it one time and then I put it up and then, you know, I forgot. I literally forgot about this. Because other stuff was going on. Um, so there, they talk about here, they have other, um, decks. You know what? They also, these, oh, these are by Alberto, uh, Velado. He has books and then by Colette, she has books. And then these are Colette Baron Reed's decks. I saw these post postcards from Spirit. I saw those on Amazon. Those are pretty nice. I mean, like just from what I saw, um, those would be some that I would like to get. <clears throat> that I would like to get. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the the guidebook. Like I said, I haven't taken it out much. Um, maybe, like I said, just one time since I it arrived. And then here is a table of contents, which I really like that it has the number of the of the card like this is the staff here and it has the number of like the page that it's on so this way you're not like going through it so the pictures are black and white which i think they should have been in color because these cards are so beautiful okay yeah my nails are still blue guys from my hair it just keeps on going. I go get my nails done this weekend. Thank goodness. Um, so these are broken up into three things. So you have the card. So it says the essence, the invitation, and the medicine. Okay. So let's see what those mean. Not really sure. I know you're supposed to start with the essence. Let me see if I remember from what I read. Oh, here we go. How to work with this deck. So you have the essence, the invitation, and the medicine. The essence tells you the timeless message of the card. It expands the symbol until you grasp its message without you needing to analyze it. Always read the essence first. Okay, so the essence is talking about the actual card itself and everything that it represents. So in this case, it has the eagle here. And it just says here, the essence part is, uh, eagle comes from the east, the place of the rising sun, the new beginnings. So, oh. Of new beginnings she soars high in the sky sees the smallest detail with clarity without losing track of the bigger picture and nests in the high mountains for eagle there are no obstacles only opportunities she calls you to ascend to acquire um, perspective so you can fly wing to wing with great spirit okay so that is so oh, sorry my face is so itchy um, 
So you're supposed to be able to look at the card and be able to analyze the card um, through reading this essence and the card breaks it all down. Hmm. The invitation. The invitation tells you the gifts of the spirit is extending to you at this moment. It is also call to action. Read the invitation only if your card is upright. Oh, okay. So these cards have a different meaning if they are reversed. You know how some decks have a different meaning if they are upright or they are, you know, upside down. And these are one of those. So only read the invitation if your card is um if it if your card is upright. Upright, okay. If it's upside down, which is the reverse meaning, do not read it. The medicine card tells you the aspect of area of your life or, or relationship that you need to bring into balance and repair. Read the medicine only if your card is reversed. Remember, there are no bad cards, so reverse cards should not be avoided. Okay, okay. So, if you get a card that is always read... The, in any card that you read, um, any deck that you, I mean, any any um, spread that you use, you will always read. Well, I guess you would only do three cards because you're. I'm sorry, guys. I don't. I'm learning as I'm teaching you. Like I'm like, you can do a one card reading or a three card. Okay, I got it. I got it. Or a four card. So it gives you information here. So like, if you're going to do the four cards, that's how you would do it, and. So, number one would be the card of the south. Number two, the card of the west. The third card would be the card of the north. And the fourth is the card of the east. Okay. So, if you are doing the three card spread, then um, you would do... The three card spread will give you a picture of the past, present, and future. Um, of the topic or situation in hand. Also, um, it can help you with, um, this reading is particularly used in finding the source of blocks of, and obstacles and matters relating to work, health, relationship, personal and spiritual growth, and health and well-being. Okay. And one card readings, one card reading is like opening a window into a new direction new understanding or confirmation uh, about what you may already feel you know but need more certainty about it. It is the simplest way to get to know your mystical shaman oracle. Like if you want to pick like a daily card. So you can do is ask a question and pull a single card. Okay so if you're doing a one card reading you will always read the essence. You will always read that one. Um, I think I need to do a little more reading in this deck. Uh, about how to do this deck. How to like do readings. Um, so. Let's read about what the other one means. The medicine. Okay. So the essence you always read. The invitation you only read if the card is upright. The medicine card you read um, if it is reversed. Okay, so if you get three cards and they're all reverse, then the first card that you read will be the essence and the other two cards will be the medicine. I'm supposing. I need to do a little more detail in this, but I just wanted to show you all that. So, but that's how it is. You have the picture and then the three here. And in the beginning of the book, it does give you an uh, area here where uh, the message from the authors... The introduction on how to use this deck. Um, and how to work with it. So how to ask questions. How to do one card reading. Three card reading. Four card reading. And they show you a four card reading spread. And then the rest is the cards. Okay. Alright. I guess if y'all want more detail. Y'all can get somebody else's video. Who actually knows what the hell they're talking about. Alright. So here are the cards. You know, Hay House, um, Hay House here, 
I don't know if you've ever gone on their website, but they have a lot of cards. And sometimes you can get cards really, really cheap. If you go to Hay House, and it's mostly like for books and stuff, but if they have a place there where you can type in tarot cards or you can scroll through and they'll say tarot cards, you can look under there and some, they'll give you a whole bunch of them. And sometimes you can find cards that are like super, super cheap. Like cheap decks. So if you're just ever sitting there and you want to do something you can look at those okay so here are the back of the cards that's pretty cool right okay they're not glossy or anything either they're like matte see they're not glossy look how, look how beautiful that is there are, I'm believing, if these are oracle cards, there should be like about 48 or so cards. Um, let me see. Oh, I guess I can look right here where it has them all numbered. 64 cards. Usually oracle cards don't have this many. Because, you know, a traditional tarot has like about 78. And Oracle usually has, you know, like 40 or 48 cards or so. But I mean, everyone's different. Every card's different. So I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to show a few of them. Um, yeah. Here's the arrow. So these are really pretty cards. I can see where you can use these cards. And you really do look at all the symbols on here. All the sacred symbols to analyze the card to read. Like Beauty Way. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, wow. The Beloved. I, I know I don't want to show you all the cards, but they're so pretty. Wow, look at this one. The Child. The Circle. Oh, look at this one. Coyote. Beautiful, right? Look at the crow. Nice. The curse. Oh wow. Here's a here's the eagle. My sacred animal. This is my spirit animal. Beautiful. Oh, here's my element. Earth. The earth keeper. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Fire. Ooh, look at this. The Gatherer. Oh, wow. I like this one, too. The Heart of the Sky. I think these cards, when you do a reading, could really give you a very deep reading you know like when you do a reading you're like wow like or you read something you're like that was deep you know like i really do think this could give you one of those types of readings the hummingbird you know those type of readings where you it, it's really more or less like touching your soul you know what i mean like like gosh i'm feeling that down to my soul oh nice and each card has a number on the corner there to tell you the hunter so 27 like what number it is Ooh, look at the jaguar beautiful oh my gosh look at this one guys these are just gorgeous the journey i'm just trying to pick the most beautiful ones they're all beautiful but look at this one magic medicine wheel yeah I'm definitely going to um, when I finish with this video I'm going to read and learn how to use this deck Pachamama I want to do a little more reading about that goddess right there the rainbow Rainmaker, the rattle, the sacrifice. Ooh, 
me likey this one the sear guys these are really pretty the sorcerer there are some that I'm not showing you so I'll be like Murphy you said you were gonna show all the cards I know but they're so pretty <laughs> how can I not Ooh. That's just so beautiful. Just so beautiful. Look at the sun. The sweat lodge. Taming the wind. Thunder. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, look at this. The tree of life. Gorgeous. Upper world, the vision quest. Okay, water, wild woman, wind, and the witness. There are actually a few that I did not show. These are just amazing. Like, these are the kind of cards that you read and they're just like, they're speaking to my soul. Beautiful cards. I definitely am going to clean my office up. It's a hot mess right now. I've got just stuff everywhere. And then I'm going to um, read on how to use these cards. Um, because these are absolutely gorgeous. And you know what? now looking at these cards yeah i would have paid forty dollars for these cards they are every bit worth the forty dollars did you see those beautiful cards and then just the beautiful packaging alone like if you get out of town with that yeah they are they're just so gorgeous such a good buy guys if uh, excuse me if you can get online and see if these cards are still at that great price, you should get them. Or go look on Hay House. Maybe they're cheaper on Hay House. Um, but I got mine from Amazon. But yes, um, seeing these cards in person, I definitely would spend $40. They, they're simply just gorgeous. If you collect tarot cards, um, oracle cards, or you're just a person who just loves to collect cards and you enjoy the beauty of them, these are definitely some beautiful, beautiful cards. Um, in the back here, it talks about the cards. It shows you some of the cards here, and then it talks about the the authors of the card here. All back here. Yeah, these are really pretty. So I'm going to leave these out here so I can um, <laughs> do a little more uh, research on these cards. Sorry I couldn't tell you a little more about how to use them or do a practice reading but uh, I really wanted to show you all these and get them out of the way because I wanted to put everything away. But knowing how gorgeous these are, I definitely want to use them. So I'm going to keep them out. So if, you get, if you're in the, in the uh, neighborhood of buying some new Oracle cards, um, you will not be disappointed. These are just simply beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. What is that saying I wanted to say? Love many, trust few, and paddle your own canoe. <laughs> I'm going to show you where I get that from. So you'll be like, Murphy, you is crazy. Let me show you. I like that saying. I just got to perfect it because I'm like, and then I'm saying it all wrong. Like, that's not, that's not what it's supposed to say. Mm hmm I need me a little a little cup of coffee is what I need. Oh, let me just ring a little bell. Bring me some coffee, please. But um that would be me. I'm the one that the bell rings and I'm like, yes, yes, what can I can I help you? Oh, don't tell me it's not on it's not on this. It's on my phone. Okay, but yes, I believe that is how the saying goes. Trust, no, love many, trust few, and pedal your own canoe. I swear, I think that's how it goes. And if it doesn't, that's how it's going to go for right now. <laughs> all right, guys. As always, love you all, and blessed be. Bye.